In this lesson, I'll show you how to prove diagonals of a rhombus bisect at 90 degrees. The question reads, verify that the quadrilateral with vertices P, Q, R, and S is a rhombus. Also, verify that the diagonals of this quadrilateral bisect each other at 90 degrees. Before we start with the first part, remember what a rhombus is. It's technically a square where all sides are equal, but it's on a slant. Let's get started. We'll first plot P, Q, R, and S. Our first point is at 3 and 3, which is right here. Then we have the point Q at 0 and 1. R is at 3 and negative 1. And S is at 6 and positive 1. Let's connect these points with straight lines. As you can see, it's starting to shape up like a rhombus. Now to determine that this is in fact a rhombus, all four sides should be equal length. So with that said, let's go ahead and find the lengths between Q and P, R and S, Q and R, and P and S. And instead of going through all of these, I'll show you how to find, for example, Q and R, and then the same method can be used for the other three. To find the length between Q and R, we're going to use the distance formula. And the distance formula is the square root of the differences of the x-coordinates between Q and R, plus the differences of the y-coordinates, and both of those differences are squared. That formula looks like this, x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 squared. x2 of r is equal to 3, that's its x-coordinate. And the reason why I call it x2 is because it's more to the right than this point. I like to read graphs from left to right, so this is my first point, that's my second point x1 is q's, which is 0, y2, negative 1, minus, and the y here is 1. Now we can find the difference here, 3 minus 0 is 3 to the power of 2 is 9, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 to the power of 2 is positive 4, so we have the square root of 13. We'll leave it at that. But, of course, you can find the decimal version of that number if you like. Now, if the distance from here to here, here to here, and here to here is the square root of 13, then this is, in fact, a equilateral quadrilateral, a rhombus. And it turns out that if you do find their distances, they're all going to be the square root of 13. And because of that, I will put these lines through the sides, indicating that they're all equal length. Now we can move on to this part. Verify that the diagonals of PQRS bisect each other at 90 degree angles. Now a diagonal is simply a line that connects non-adjacent vertices. Take for example the vertex Q. If I were to extend a line from Q to S, that would be considered a diagonal. And similarly, extending a line from P to R is also considered a diagonal. So we have to prove that it's at 90 degrees. Let me go ahead and fill in those lines. The green lines you see now on your screen represent the diagonals. And we have to determine that this and this are at 90 degree angles. And it appears to be visually, but we have to prove it mathematically. So what I'll do is find the slope of this line. And if I take its negative reciprocal, I should end up with the slope of P and R. But given that P and R is a straight line going up and down, I know that my slope will be undefined but I'll show it mathematically. So I'll start with the slope of Q to S. Remember that the slope formula is M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Y2 will be the Y coordinate of S, and that happened to be positive one. So we have one minus one over, and the X coordinate here was six minus the X coordinate here, which is zero. So we have 0 over 6, that is equal to 0. And as expected, because it is a horizontal line. Any line that's horizontal has a slope of 0. Now let's find the slope of P to R. Once again, M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Let's consider this our first point, And it has a Y coordinate of 3. R has a Y coordinate of negative 1. This has an x-coordinate of 3, and this one has an x-coordinate of 3 as well. 
So we have 3 minus minus 1, which is equal to 4 over 0. That's undefined, and that's what we expected. If you have a vertical line, you're going to have an undefined slope. 4 divided by 0 doesn't give you an output. As a result, we can say that these lines bisect each other at 90 degrees. What's also interesting is that you can prove this in another way. If the diagonals have the same midpoint, so in our case, the midpoint of this diagonal is here, and the midpoint of this diagonal is right here, that automatically tells us that they bisect each other at 90 degrees. Now we didn't use that proof, but feel free to use that proof on another example. And so there you have it. That is how to prove diagonals of a rhombus bisect at 90 degrees.